So we showed you the game of patience and the story of moving tree in episode 4 of this series. If you have not watched episode 1 to 4, please watch it now. This celebrity gave us good 5 to 7 minutes and see how everyone is craving for a glimpse of this beauty. Not TV stars, not sports stars. This is the real celebrity. The true king is not the one who claims to be the king. The true king is the one whom people accept as the king. Anyway, that was a queen though. Paro's daughter. So she went into the deeper sides of the jungle where our jeep could not go. We thought we can maybe catch her from the other side or if not look for other tigers. The sun was shining bright and the true beauty of Tikala was coming out in our cameras. This side of the jungle especially is very beautiful. As it was already late in the morning, it had gotten hot. The chances were really low that we would find any more tigers. So it was more about moving here and there with a subtle ray of hope. But deep down, we knew that we were kind of done with this safari. and it was time to go back to campus around 9ish we reached the main road again you would remember this road from our second episode this is the same road which comes directly from ramnagar because this road is comparatively broader than other roads if you see a tiger here It's a dream sighting. Unfortunately, we have not been lucky enough to see a tiger on this road. But hopefully, one day we would have a frame in this setting. Imagine instead of this deer, if a tiger was there in the middle of the road. Wouldn't it be pure magic? We thought of waiting here for some time because this is like 2 minutes from the campus. Most of the time before safari time ends, all the jeeps prefer waiting here only. We had more time though. Slowly and steadily, all the other jeeps started coming back from different sides of the jungle. Looking at these faces it felt like so many people come with so much hope of experiencing wildlife we wish everyone gets to see a tiger at least once so that they respect the animal even more a little further from the main road near the grasslands we found this herd of deer with the onset of summer A lot of vegetation was drying up already. The tall brown vegetation you see is of no good to them. That is why these deer are focusing on grazing the green grass on the ground. If you look from a multi-dimensional perspective, imagining yourself to be a predator and not a human with our eyesight in differentiating colors, see how well camouflaged they are. These are easy to spot but setting a target on one and chasing him is really difficult. While we were watching these deer our guide got a call from another jeep that there might be some tiger movement near the Ramganga bridge. He said there are lots of somber deer alarm calls near the banks. and we must come immediately with still about 30 minutes or so for the safari to get over we rushed to the ramganga bridge and already 
there were around 5 to 6 jeeps waiting two of the initial jeeps claimed to see the tigress but nobody was sure if she would come back in dikala these banks and valleys are some of the best places to find the tiger the reason being the open landscape with better vision and periphery to capture the tiger now imagine if the tiger crosses from the left side and wants to go all the way to the right you can capture good images for at least 5 to 7 minutes people kept changing the position of their gypsies as nobody was sure which direction the tigress was and where would she come out from the alarm calls were silent now we all got comfortable with the situation and started chit chatting when suddenly the master of camouflage came into our frame Okay now let me pause this video for 15 seconds to see if you forget that you are watching a video on Jim Corbett forget that we are tracking tigers here can you casually in the normal routine life identify and differentiate the tiger from the grass in this landscape this is the beauty of this animal the biggest of the cats family yet so hard to find and see paro's daughter again came for a few seconds marked her territory scanned her area and went back with this our morning safari came to an end another lovely experience in the wild on campus we came across another giant domestic elephant who crossed a few meters away from us some people were checking out from the campus and going back to ramnagar The best time in Dikala to relax is the second day after the morning safari especially in summers because the time gap between two safaris is ample You can take a good shower walk around the campus carefree and also just introspect about the non-materialistic pleasures of life You are surrounded by mountains and rivers and wildlife and you are blessed to be able to experience this raw feeling in India a few hours journey from major cities We also took good rest even though for us rest doesn't come that easy because we have to transfer the data from our morning safari to our hard disk charge all our gears clean up the cameras and then make sure we are recharged enough for the next one and after all this effort we have to go back home and create videos so our humble request is if you like our videos do comment and share with your friends and family time to leave for our afternoon safari now Stay tuned for episode 6. Till then, keep discovering wild paws.